Hello YouTube, so this video is actually two scenarios in one. So the first issue that it can resolve is if you back up your Windows machine onto an external hard drive and the issue is that you click back up and it doesn't do anything. So the issue with that is there's actually not enough memory on the hard drive and what that will do is basically just not even give you a message but if you look into it it will uh, be obvious that's the reason. The second is how do you then extend the partition on an external hard drive so that's what we're going to do here so the two are interlinked. Here as you can see I'm in disk management on Windows and I've got some unallocated space here which I'm going to try and extend but Windows won't allow you to do that. So on the far left I've got SGHDAW backup and I want to extend that with the extra 33 gigabytes unallocated however the operation is not supported. I'm then going to try Ease US because that's uh, usually my second option in case Windows doesn't work. I tried it here and it does actually work However, you would need to pay for it. So if you're happy to part with some money, then EaseUS will allow you to do that. So basically, if you want to resize or merge partitions, that's classed as an enhanced feature, if you like, with EaseUS, and you'd have to pay for their premium version. So here you can see a summary of the operation that we want to do. And if you want to merge two partitions together or you want to extend you can see on the right hand side allocate space smart resize they're kind of the two ways that you would achieve this goal and you would need to pay for it in this instance so in order to do this using free software I'm now going to show you another software so this is called mini tool partition wizard very popular and as you can see here on the left here's the criteria so it's free and you've got what we need so move or resize partition extend partition merge partition so they're the three kind of three different ways that we can achieve our goal of extending the existing partition on the external hard drive so that we can use unallocated space so go ahead and download this software I've opted not to tick these boxes or untick them and I'm going to go next. Select where you'd like to save your software onto and then click next. Just take a few moments and then click finish. Now I've got the software up now and as you can see it's mapped the drive. Now note that I've got two hard drives on my actual machine and then I've got the external hard drive which is the one that we want to make changes to. So in this case that's called disk 3 GPT so that's just make sure you're selecting the right one. Now if you name the volumes on the partition it'll be obvious to see because I've named mine here. So here's some options here what we want to do in my case I can click extend because I've already created some space and as you can see on the far right hand side there's unallocated space of just over 33 gigabytes double check you're dealing with the right drive the right partition now here's how much do you want to create or extend so this will allow you to extend up to the unallocated space so as you can see if I put it onto the max that's just over 33 gigabytes which is exactly what I've got as unallocated space so the more space you have the more that slider will allow you to go up to it so you don't have to use all of the unallocated space but in my case I want to because that's enough for the goal that I want to achieve today double check all the information this shows you what it would look like once it's done so as you can see hypothetically it's just showing the percentage or the size has increased now you can confirm that you want to apply those changes so I'll click yes and now that will run now there's four 
operations that happen because in in this case it's already split up on the partitions it will just map that in a way that it can allocate the uh, uh, space onto my first volume or partition which is what I want to do here so let that run now you may want to go and grab a drink because this can take a while depending on the size of the volume itself and the size of the partition in general. As an example, by doing this increase from 400 up to just over 430 gigabytes on a external hard drive that is about just over 900 gigabytes in size, it will take about 40 minutes. So it is quite long. So unlike Windows and EaseUS, they're done in a few minutes. This will take close to 40 minutes. However, this is free. So it's up to you, depending on how often you're gonna do it or how pressed you are for time, you may wanna go ahead and use EaseUS. Unfortunately, Windows Partition Manager doesn't even allow you to do this. Um, so you don't have that as an option with Windows. So with EaseUS, it's quicker, but you have to pay. With this tool, it's Mini Tool Partition Wizard. It will take longer, but it is free. So if you're not gonna do it very often, you may just wanna do it this way and you've achieved your goal. I'm gonna speed up the video in this case so you don't have to wait around too long. Okay, so that's all done. So you can click OK because it's now applied everything successfully. As you can see on the bottom, that's exactly how we wanted the partition or the volumes to end up. And as you can see, I've got some extra space, which then the percentage used has dropped because now there's more size or space available. So as far as extending the partition on an external drive goes, that's now complete. If you're now watching this video for the purpose of now being able to continue your backup, if that was the issue, as it was in my case, and we can go over to the backup, select more options, and now click backup now. Now what would have happened is nothing would have happened after a while, which is the issue that it had with insufficient space. We're now gonna click backup now, and this should work. So we'll give it a few moments in order to run the backup. Once backup has completed, you should see an updated date, which is the last time the backup was performed. And here you can see last backup, 21st of the 12th. So that has changed from the August date that we had previously. So that backup is now complete. So thank you very much for watching. You've got two things in one. One which was Windows wasn't allowing you to backup because of the insufficient space and secondly being able to extend a partition on an external drive thank you for watching hope you find it useful